Alrighty, uh, let's do this. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and welcome back to the FPV Mix, the greatest live stream on the internet. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late today, uh, boys and girls, but it doesn't matter. We are here now. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, grab yourself a beer, a cup of tea, a bacon sandwich, whatever it is that you want to partake in. <laughs> I don't know why I chose that one, but sit back, relax for the next 90 minutes. We're going to be talking drones. I've got to adjust this camera. Uh, just here, actually, my mistake, bear with me, we don't want to get that uh, monitor in shots, blocking out a bit of the view, but how have you guys been, uh, yeah, I, and I also have a bit of an apology, because today, well, I kind of slept in just a little bit, I woke up way too late, I've got to turn up the brightness on this camera as well, way too late, and I was like, uh, I think I'm meant to be streaming right now, but here we are, let's see who's in the chat, we're going to be going through today, we're going to be giving away some stuff, we're going to be uh, answering some of your questions, checking out some of your videos, all in all, just having fun, <laughs> um, it's going to be a good time, and I also thought that today it was Thursday, so I was a complete day behind, so <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Uh, for being a little bit late in this one. Fitzflight says, you deserve to sleep in, Stu. Uh, no issues, buddy. Other people saying, yeah, yeah, but what about, this is like, it was, I think, last night I was talking to some mates, and uh, what about if I said it was 2 a.m., and then I was like, oh, man, I think I uh, have my days mixed up. <laughs> I'm meant to be streaming tomorrow. Oh, yeah, let's see who's in the chat. What's been happening? We've got 48 people watching. We've been streaming for two minutes. And uh, we've got eight thumbs up. Man, I haven't even hit that thumbs up button. So thank you very much if you are one of those eight people, ten people now who did that before even I did. It is very much appreciated. We've got our first super chat coming in as well. This one is from Sai, and he says, Hey, so I know you reviewed the Gep RC Dolphin. Do you know, uh, do you, th I think, do you think uh, that would be a good competitive racing drone? Gep RC Dolphin. Let me, let's have a Google for, uh, for memory. So I thought that was like a small little drone, but I could be wrong. Let's let's have a look. We'll show you guys as well. And I'm also, while we're here, I'm going to put your name on the list there, Sai. So let me open up this one. Charlie Snacks. And you are on the short list for this week's giveaway. Let me add you. Thank you very much. It is this bad boy. So this is a, oh, the name escapes me. It's uh, the Lava X HD. Uh, that's going to be going out to somebody this week. So that's the shortlist giveaway. And we've also got to give Charlie a little snack as well. And then we're going to check out the Kip RC Dolphin. And I've also got to get some more snacks, Charlie. I'm sorry about that. They're not the fancy snacks today. Just a little bit of kibble. Well, let's have a look. The Kip RC Dolphin. Is it going to be a good racing drone? Yeah, that's... Uh, that's what I. That's what I thought. Um, that's weird that you picked that because I was. Uh, I was just looking at that this morning. Man, I don't know what that is. What's happening? We're getting all sorts of weird noises and sounds and. All right, thank you, kids. <laughs> God, let me focus on this guy. Stop hijacking the stream. Right, the Gap RC Dolphin. Is this going to be a good racing drone? Look, uh, oh yeah, that, that's this one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say yes, actually. Uh, I was thinking of the Skip HD, but no, this one. Um, it's very fast. It's very agile. The only problem you're going to run into is it is a four inch, uh, four inch size of um, craft, and that is not very popular. So depending on your racing regulations and the rules and the club has and stuff, a lot of times they'll be like, look, this is a five inch race only, or this is a three inch race only. So the only issue is it's probably going to be one of the fastest ones around the track. Absolutely. You could push this thing to the extreme. Um, I really liked how it felt. But you can clip that. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's a four inch, so keep keep that in mind. All right. Jumping back in here to face cam. Kiz sending me some love as well, saying hopefully this should wake you up. Thank you very much, Kiz Bartlett, right there. Uh, I'm going to add your name tw uh, twice. Thank you for using that um, the uh, the donation link as well, because it really does make a difference. There you go, Charlie. 
That's from Kids. Your name is in the draw as well for the Lava X HD. And how's the mic coming through too? Is the mic uh, coming through clear? Because I was having some microphone issues yesterday when I was talking to some people on Discord. It was apparently very low, but I'd love a little bit of feedback there if I need to adjust the gain or anything like that. And I'm also trying a new heartbeat monitor, which uh, for some reason, I don't... My, my heartbeat can't be at 95. That's like ridiculous for, for normal for me. All right, we've got another super chat uh, from Mason German. He says, I'm brand new. What's the bottom barrel for FPV goggles for someone uh, with commitment issues with hobbies? Now, I actually, this is on my website. I really don't recommend spend, like you don't want to go bottom barrel because it's just not, it's not worth it. It's like saying, I'm trying to think of a food analogy here. Uh, what is the What is the cheapest pizza that you can get and... You know, maybe it's one of those cardboard cheap pizzas that come frozen in a box at the supermarket for like two bucks. You're like, like that's not that's not really a pizza, mate. I just I'd prefer not to eat anything. That's kind of the same way. Have you ever made? Have you ever eaten a bad meal of something that you're supposed to enjoy? So maybe your favorite meal is like, I don't know, some sort of pasta dish or some something else. You're like, yeah, man, I'll, I can't wait to eat that. And someone cooks it for you and it actually tastes bad. That's what it's like when you buy really cheap FPV goggles. You're better off just not even eating any of it. You're better off just getting the uh, a little bit more expensive. If we jump over here, the cheapest ones that I recommend, and I don't know what your price point is going to be, but uh, for a, a pair of goggles that was enjoyable that you could use for a relatively long time until you wanted to upgrade in the future, you don't get eye strain, was these things right here. So these are the Hawkeye a little pilot goggles and these goggles are uh, right here just just all in all they're probably my uh, go-to budget choice right there we've got a video i'm going to put this in the link as well um that would that would be my recommendation anyone who says ev 800 d's they're they're obsolete they're heavy they hurt your eyes um i, I wouldn't recommend uh those ones fits flat says highly supported uh does tons of magical things super tiny oh uh, fpv is a life is saying oh the onway commanders oh then he said the ev oh, yeah, i am i agree with the onway commanders then he said the ev 800d sorry uh fpv love i didn't mean that why <laughs> I didn't realize that you've said that, but the EV 800 Ds are drastically overrated, and um, yeah, they're probably, uh, look, I've tested an awful lot of goggles, probably more goggles than anybody else on the planet, and I wouldn't fly around with those. You're going to get sore eyes, they're going to hurt your face, they're just not a uh, not a decent goggle. The only thing they have going for them is like, hey, it's got a good screen, that's great, but you can't use it, like it's um, it's hard to focus on, and yeah, it's not, it's not worth it. All right. Uh, we've got Ben Frink, he says, I got the Tactic Goggles, the Tiny Hawk 2, and and the QX7 today are super fun and cheap. I don't even know what the Tactic Goggles are, actually. Let me have a look here. Do open up this one. Open up this one. And who's going for a fly this weekend as well? Tactic FPV Goggles? Mm, I'm not seeing anything. Ah, oh, okay. These. Oh. Let's have a look. I don't know about this. What, you put your phone in there or something? Um, currently unavailable. We don't know when this item will be back in stock. Yeah, I don't think that would be my first my first choice either. We've got Andre says, hello from Greece. First time here. Brandon J says, any sites announced their Black Friday discounts yet? If not, I'm going to buy GJ GJI stuff tonight when their sale starts. I didn't even know they were doing a sale tonight, actually. Um, but I have had a few companies hitting me up saying, hey, can, what are you doing for Black Friday? We've got some sales, all that sort of stuff. Can you make a video? So we might be doing something about that. Um, but yeah, if you're going to go DJ, I definitely recommend it. And if you can get it direct from them, they're probably going to offer the steepest discounts anyway. So I say absolutely go for it. Um, type in OH says B I U T wait. Uh, how do you win? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, there, my friend, we've got Dominic coming in from the Czech Republic. Um, Crown FPV says I'm still using my Emacs goggles while waiting for the Black Friday sales as well. Uh, they're pretty decent. Um, Otto Tana Zero, he says he's flying right now. HB says, I'm going to be going for a flying this weekend. Kiss Bartlett says, I see the sausage creeping into shot uh, from that mug. Yes, this is, uh, thank you very much uh, to you guys. You guys sent me this, this mug right here. And it is absolutely covered in sausages. So thank you very much. All right, now look, this is something that I'm pretty excited about. And I want to, rec I want to stress this, like FPV... 
It's such good therapy for a lot of people out there. If you've been feeling a little bit down, I can't stress the importance enough of getting out, doing some FPV, meeting up with friends, and tomorrow for the first time in a long time, I get to catch up with someone uh, that I'm really excited about. You might see him in the chat here. I'm going to give him a big shout out to Gunner351. He is driving or uh, catching the ferry and then driving. I think it's a fair way to get here, but he's going to be coming over to my place. We're going to be going to rip some packs, and I cannot wait. I have not seen him since probably oh, February or something like that, so it's been an awful long time. So, uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited. We're going to go out, go flying tomorrow. If anyone's around as well and you want to come rip some packs, uh, we're going to be in the air, so that should be pretty cool. And I want to stress to you people, if you if you know someone that's around, and you're like, hey, I might go for a fly with them and just, just hit them up, send them a message. If you're not feeling good, just get out there, get flying. If you're on lockdown, of course, follow the advice and laws and all that sort of stuff. But if you are just struggling a little bit, just getting out there for a rip is so important. And I want to say I want to thank everybody else as well who uh, who just has has been here supporting me and uh showing me some some of their flights and stuff when i was stuck indoors all right postman drones he's saying a good day Stu. sorry for god stream at 6 p.m in canada uh now not eight but i'm here now uh absolutely my pleasure to have you here we've got done e he says f yeah oops i cast okay so he's excited about me going flying as well fitz flight says the wifey bought me ev 300 d's and they aren't perfect but i plan on running them until dji v2 or another good digital option. Yeah, I agree. When it comes, I need to check my email, actually. I'm trying to track down some other digital options for you guys. But um, look, if the EV300Ds are good enough that you won't need to upgrade as long as you're sticking with analog. And I would say to anybody as well that right now, if you're thinking of upgrading your analog goggles, it's really not the time in the technology's lifespan to be doing that because things are going to be moving to digital. And whether that be an all DJI world or with a little bit of fat shark, um, whatever their digital option is sprinkled in. It's just, uh, it, I, don't, I don't see a market so much for high, high-end FPV analog goggles. If you've already got a set like the Skies, if you've already got a set of Sky Zones, on weights, Fat Sharks, whatever it's set it may be, you don't need to upgrade. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm sure some other people say, hey, you should buy this one or that one. Here's my advice. Do not upgrade your analog... I should almost make a video on this. Do not upgrade your analog goggles if you already have a set because it is not the right time in that lifetime's technology. Uh, no, in that technology's lifetime. Man, talk about getting my words uh, backwards. I, I really do need to have more coffee. Oh, uh, type zero is uh, type, type O says Stu, you're a legend man, keep it up. No, I'm not brother, I'm exactly the same as you. I wanna stress this as well. I'm just a dude who loves flying the same as you guys and I hope you feel that when you're watching my videos that you are just one of the crew. You are watching us fly these videos. If you were in the field, you'd be having just as many laughs, crashing as many drones, just uh, generally having some good times. The only difference is when I'm at the field, I point a camera at it, make a video for you guys. I'm no engineering expert, no RF engineer, nothing like that. No superstar racer, just an average dude on the sticks who uh, enjoys these tiny little flying robots just like you. R7 driver says, terrible time to enter upgrade to the analog market. Uh, take the time and wait to get DJ. I definitely say Saving up a little bit. We've got Chaos FPV. Uh, he's saying, Stu, how you doing tonight, mate? And, uh, well, I am feeling a little bit... Where, where's Chaos's name on here? It's not even in focus. Gosh. Let me adjust this. There we go. Right at the top there. Uh, Chaos, one of the legends. I remember we've got a lot of legends, actually, here today. Uh, is there a clip that today? Uh, that's coming in from HB. I'm going to let Kiz Bartlett answer that in the chat. And Daniel Hoffend uh, says, uh, I'm so glad I spent money on the DJ goggle in comparison with their BDI adapter and a good analog module, enough to fly whoops and the DJI drone. All right, so yeah, that is another thing as well. A lot of people are like, well, what am I going to, how can I fly a whoop if I buy digital and all that sort of stuff? Well, you can get those little adapters so you don't need to uh, get an entire set of analog goggles. You can use your DJI goggles and just pipe the analog into them. Abdul says, uh, but price is nuts in the DJI. It's crazy expensive. Anyone... Unless anyone can recommend a digital goggle that are cheaper than the DJI. Look, I know a lot of people say it's expensive, but for the technology that you get, um, it's ridiculous. And the performance that you get and comparative to other hobbies, I think it's... Uh, it's And they also have no competition as well, so they can kind of charge what they like. But yeah, I think... Um, 
500 bucks when you're spending $200 on a drone anyway or some of the drones are that much you got to look at them as it's it's not it's not like video games right where you can't just buy a console you can't just buy the latest Xbox and then there your hobby is sorted and you buy I don't know Xbox Games Pass or a couple of games per year or something it's that's not really how this hobby works you're going to be breaking things uh you have to buy hardware so you know once you've got that think about think of it like buying the Xbox console right Thank you very much, Chaos. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's... Um, I, look, I don't think DJI is overpriced for the perform. I would happily pay uh, the price of DJI any day of the week to uh, to get what they offer. And I know I sound like a DJI fanboy uh, right there, but for anybody who's tried it, I'm sure that they can ag agree in the chat. It's just... You know, I think Trevor, in my last review, every time is like, man, this is amazing, especially coming from analog. It does spoil analog just just a little bit which look is unfortunate but analog's been around for a couple of years as well like what i really do want though is um just a bit of competition right there all right we've got chaos fpv thank you very much chaos fpv you legend let's give charlie a little snack as well here you go charlie i've actually got two i've got one snack one large snack and one small snack and then some kibble uh so let's give him a, a little bit of a snack there you go buddy that's from Chaos. Oh, thanks very much, man. That's so nice of you guys. All right. Uh, we've got a random family man saying, clip that is on Mondays or Sunday night if you're in the US. Man, it's getting pretty warm in here as well. It's pretty toasty in this office. Uh, I turn the aircon on, but it makes a really loud noise. So I'm not going to be doing that. Andre Pops uh, says that he hates the nightmare with batteries. And Dominic is asking, oh, what are the names on the wall? That is some of the... Well, actually, that is all the legends... Um, have really helped out with this show as well. So uh, it started with FPV Nick, and then we thought, well, I've, I've got to do something special. He did a huge donation, so I thought oh, I've got to do something a little bit extra just to say thank you. We put his name on the wall. I'm not sure if it happened live or if it happened after the stream. And then, uh, yeah, there's every single other person on there. I couldn't be more grateful for your support, for everything that you do for this channel. Chaos, FPV Nick, Captain Kirk, Daxi, Donny, Quiggs, Rob Mullally, Greg Walden, Toxic FPV, Drunken Bullet, RS7, Driver, Brad33, RGMG, Trollolololol, and DSA Gaming. Thank you so much because uh, with your help, we really have changed this studio to what you see today. If you look back at the original streams, back to what we've got on a new mic, we've got a better computer, We don't. it's not a calculator that we're potato we're streaming on anymore, we've got a proper camera, we've got some lighting, so yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, being here, sticking with me, believing in the channel, and sharing this message of FPV as well, because if you've got some friends out there, or you've got some people that you know that they might enjoy this hobby, I know that these videos and this hobby changes people's lives, and, and I honestly... I couldn't do it without your support. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart just to 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 be here with you guys sharing this message and changing people's lives for the better is uh, something that I'm really passionate about and it's extremely humbling as well to know that you guys, you, you believe in that message as well. All right, Emo Hawk is saying, hey there Stu, what's going on? Uh, El Elmo, Elmo Whack? Uh, I, um, I think Elmo Whack, is that what it's, uh, how you meant to, to say that? Uh, Dan Dennis saying, is the new uh, Radio TX12 good for a low price? Uh, can you give us a little bit more specifics on what, is it a jumper, a Radio Master, Radio King? Um, Zoran is saying, hey Stu, just tuning in. Let's have a look at this. We've got 112 people watching. We've been streaming for 20 minutes and 57 thumbs up. Watch this with the power of the internet. Uh, I can almost guarantee, no, I can't guarantee. I take that back. I would love to see uh, if we can break that 100 uh, thumbs up limit by 22 minutes of streaming. So I don't. I think that's going to be something we're going to try and push. Um, as a bit of a recommend. It is getting bigger. It's at 62. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> 63 if you haven't hit that thumbs up button please press it it really does make a difference uh to these streams and it lets youtube say hey uh people are watching this stream it's not just some bots in the background or anything like that so it really does make a difference and helps my channel out as well um we got sebastian he's saying hello crazy russian pilot saying could you do a 300 dollars five intrigue batteries and drone build guide um you can't do it for that price my friend so I have, if we look at this video, let's see if I can come up here. 
Um, here we go. Let's have a look of here. We're going to get some ads. I've got, I've got a Tom and Jerry ad, the official trailer right here. Let's see. If I go to screen share. So this is the original old one, right? How to get... Look, we're, this is like Inception. We're watching this. Okay. Sean. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Oh. Um, settle down, heart. Uh, this is the old, we're watching a stream inside a stream, watching a video inside a video. I don't know. Right. So this is the old one. How to do this. Can you please make this is pretty old 2016. Can someone please make some more? So we made a new one. And basically, uh, this is it uh, right here for 300 bucks. What you see, look, I would probably change this radio. It's going to be a little bit more expensive now. I'd recommend the uh, Radio Master TX16. Um, there's the Viper, go the Hawkeye goggles that I was talking about. You've got a little battery charger, but you're not going to get a proper five inch drone in there. You're probably going to need to spend about $200. So, you know, you could probably do a 2020 $400. Man, I can't believe this is a year old. Jeez, that feels like just like yesterday. Um, you could probably do a $400 uh, full racing or freestyle setup with everything that you need. But I don't know. You, you're not going to be able to build a 5-inch. Or if you want to go that cheap, you could think about going secondhand as well. That's not. That's definitely still an option out there. All right. Um, Chaos is saying you can do it for 250 USD with no batteries, radios, or goggles. Okay. Yeah, the, the drones are uh, the drones are about probably two hundred. You probably need about two hundred US for your five inch drone alone, and then you need to fit your radio in there, which is what um, you know one hundred and twenty bucks, or let's say a hundred US if you got lucky. So that's three hundred US plus another eighty bucks for oh man, it is going to be tough. Eighty dollars for your goggles, so three eighty. That means you've got twenty dollars left for goggles and chargers and accessories okay maybe four hundred dollars would be um would be the cheapest recommendation that uh if you want to fly around a five inch all right uh colin says uh because i want to get a qx7 with the r9m uh is there a receiver that can do long range and regular now look here's one do i'm i'm gonna slam free sky right here so you're about to buy the qx7 and the r9 i am going to say you'll be much better sorted my friend look random is saying no r9 no uh and alex uh go crossfire yeah and been getting and alex is saying been getting uh fail safes on fly sky should i upgrade to free sky or tbs tracer it is crossfire to answer both of those so uh Colin, I would recommend go Team Black Sheep. They have uh, they have Crossfire. They're fantastic. Um, that's especially if you want to use long range. I've seen those things go to some extreme long ranges, and I feel like they just work better as well. They are easier to work with than the R9 system. Um, I would guess that they have the theoretical same limits because their antenna is the same, and the you know they're transmitting around the same. Um, band bands as well but i think crossfire is just nicer to use um and alex is saying should i go upgrade to free sky or tracer look if you're going to upgrade it's tracer every every day if i had to choose between free sky and tracer on 2.4 um tracer is going to absolutely smash it postman drone says uh he enjoyed the nazgul v2 video watch it this morning before head heading to the office it was nice to see the old grumpy trev again and we need to get him and Nazgul V2. Yeah, the thing is, uh, the Nazgul V2, it's got HD in it. So, um, well, the one that we were just flying around, he's not going to be, it's not going to work. He doesn't have a set of uh, DJ goggles. Drew T said, had too many FlySky fail safes, so I went, to, I went to Crossfire. Coming in the mail soon. Congratulations. I just almost had a heart attack. I looked here and I saw 2.3K thumbs up. I was like, that can't be our video that we're watching. But I've got it on the wrong... Um, Wrong one, right. We have 80 thumbs up, two thumbs down, 111 people watching. We've been streaming for 25 minutes. We're going to be having a giveaway coming up a little bit in the show as well. So we have, for those people, there is a giveaway form. This is in the description down below. This is the jackpot giveaway. It is the HGLRC. I can someone tell me what the name of this um, Cine Whoop uh, drone is, as well as a limited edition, I should say, very, very limited one of these mugs, friends don't let friends auto scan an OG, an original logo uh, cup of UAV futures. So there's not very many of these um, around, actually. All right, let's, uh, and oh, I have to have Kiz's name to the list as well because there's a shortlist giveaway. 
Uh, that, let's put this on here. That wasn't kid. I mean, Sean Williams. He's probably at work right now. Instead of uh, listening to the stream, instead of uh, doing work. Uh, you are in the draw, my friend. Uh, for this bad boy, it is a Lava X, uh, but the HD variant. So pretty much like a HD little toothpick. Um, thing that you can rip around, have some fun. It's got an XD30 on there. Uh, e, B, R, F, P, B. Free Sky is a downgrade from anywhere at the moment. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Free Sky too much. I don't think they really support the hobby as well. Uh, and Carbon Cage FPV, it's great to see you back here as well, man. I've noticed you popping in uh, on the regular, which I do appreciate as well. Uh, and he says, Radio Master is the best budget buy. And I 100% agree with that. And that's why I have a write-up on our website about it, because it really is one of the best radios you can buy for the price. It's it's ridiculous. This is what this is the radio that I wish that when I was starting the hobby. Let me let's reset this zoom. Uh, when I started the hobby, I wish that I had a price radio like this screen share. This one, the Radio Master TX16S. You should all have this bookmarked as well if you haven't. My goodness, why, why? <laughs> Whoo! God. <laughs> That one really got me. <laughs> Why did I leave that noise on there? That's ridiculous. Thank you very much, Johnny D. Uh, see, but here it is. Oh, go check this radio. If you want to know what radio to get, what is the best budget radio right now? It is easy. Look at this handsome devil right here. Um, the Radio Master DX16S, or whether you get this, the, the Hall Effect version, whether you get the base version, I think there's like a 10 or $20 difference. Uh, you're not going to notice it too much anyway. But yeah, just a great cheap radio for around the 100 to $120 mark. Let's go here to Doggo Cam, Johnny DRC as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. Week in, week, week out. All right. Uh, that one's for Johnny DRC, Charlie. You're getting spoiled right now. This one is for Sh from Sean Williams, um, who, again, he's saying, took the day off, Stu. Nobody's interrupting my stream today. There you go, Charlie. That's from Sean again. Add your names to the list, boys. Thank you very much for using that list. Because what that means, by using that Streamlabs list, uh, well, YouTube doesn't get their, uh, their hands on it, basically. So, if I copy this, do that. There we go. Um, yeah. Otherwise, YouTube takes a cut of like 30 to 40%. I'm not sure what they think about um, by me having a Streamlabs link if the algorithm is like, well, we just won't promote this stream or something like that. I'm not too sure how the YouTube algorithm... Guys! I literally just minimized that window. Woo! Simon Willeman says, boom, boom, test out that heart. I mean, look at it. It is peaking. I'm going to be having a heart attack uh, very soon. Uh, have a look at this radio. I think it might be the new best budget radio, the Radio Master TX12. Okay, we can definitely, uh, definitely Google that. I'm just going to put your name on here. Ah, uh, Simon. No. no. Guys, come on. <laughs> Oh, my wife is going to come home and just see me collapsed here in the chair. Someone's going to have to call 911 or triple zero. Whoo! God, no, no. <laughs> All right, I've still got to do, like, I got to write these super chats down and then I'm going to answer the questions. Right, so we're up to Simon. I've just put his in. Uh, Crow FPV sent it through some love as well. He's saying, uh, Free Sky screwed me over. Spent two weeks trying to get my quad to buy him before I finally fixed the receiver. Crossfire is on the way in the mail. Never again will I trust Free Sky. Guys, come on. <laughs> oh, gosh, Crow. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I 100% agree, man. You know, they did that to everybody. They, um, they changed their receiver uh, format over where their new radios wouldn't work with their old receivers. But I bought all these old, old... I've bought all these old drones. <laughs> Guys, settle down. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I'm getting distracted. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Crow FPV. Yeah, I've bought... Alright, I, I, I don't know if I can start this sentence, mate. It's like, you know when people say, alright, all right, I'll, I won't interrupt, I won't interrupt. And then you go to say something and they're like, boom, and they do the little donation again. But, 
All right, like I was saying, they free Sky. I when you're saying that they your stuff doesn't work with them, that kind of happened to everybody. Where everybody was going to jump over, and they had a new protocol that was coming out. It all looked great. Yeah, we got some new radios. Finally, we're excited. We're going to upgrade from the QX sevens. And then what do you know? Well, they put in a new um, a new well the new protocol. It just didn't even work with like the the new ones that were coming out. So oh, all these other models that I have here. They're not going to work anymore. So that was a bit of a... And then they said, oh, but you know what? We can upgrade that if you would like to purchase this new module. You can put it in the back. So then again, they wanted people to go out and buy that. Also, when it came to uh, Crossfire and the QX7, some of the new QX7s that they made, they purposely like locked those out and you had to do a little hardware mod, which resulted in some people wrecking their radio. So all in all, why is my phone going off? All in all, just not a... Um, I don't think they've got our back. It's just they're, they're acting very Apple-like. Isn't it bad when Apple is a um, is a uh, a way to say something's bad? All right, I'm moving on because I'm going to get distracted on on this one. Let's have a look here. I do have to scroll down a little bit, but thank you very much. That was Crow FPV. No, <laughs> guys. Settle down, settle down. Chucker says, where is day three of the 30 days of freestyle? It's, uh, is it on your OnlyFans page? You know what, Chucker? Um, you're right there. Uh, where is the... Come on, come on, peoples, come on. Um, there is no day three. So I had a look, I had all these folders, and uh, day three seems to be empty. So I don't know what happened on day three, uh, or where to... Okay, I don't, I don't know what doing here. I can't even talk this stream. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gunner. I'm, ca I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Gunner is saying, man, I'm Jay saying, don't forget that list. I'm trying to get to the list, my friend. I'm trying. Crazy Russian pilot saying, is adding a die to a cord actually worth it? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Um, all right. Gunner says, just listening from work, hoping, hoping it Hope everyone is having a great day. See you tomorrow, mate. Yeah, Gunner's going to be turning up pretty much sometimes. Why I, I might even be live on stream. I'm not too sure what's going to happen uh, with that. You might just have to wait a little bit, uh, Gunner. Or if Gunner does t turn up, I might be like, all right, boys, that's guys. Come on, this is ridiculous. Settle down, settle down. Let's go, Charlie. Here you go. Here's a snack, buddy, because I don't know what to do here. I can't even catch up. Um. All right, we've got we've got Gunner sorted. Jay is saying, "What's up, bro? Hope all is well. I love you, mate. Thank you very much, uh, Jay FPV. Uh, straight back at you. It's great to see you just slide right in here. That sounds very inappropriate, but uh, just fitting right in, being part of the stream family as well. And I want to know too, who are some new people here? Do you have any people who haven't watched the stream before? This is their first time tuning in, or there are people who are watching and they're thinking, you know what? I've never. I have." never really i'm not even looking at the screen i have never really written a comment uh that is kind of chilling in the background a bit of a lurker i'd love to know what do you think about fpv have you been flying like if you've got some really beginner questions please don't be afraid to ask right i've got jay's name down postman drones postman drones is saying what's your best Recommend. I'm, I feel like I'm. I'm. I'm catching up, guys. You guys aren't beating me. What's the best recommendation indoor recommended indoor mini drone with FPV that will work with the Radio Master? Easy. I love the Mob Six. The thing when you're saying, um, oh, I'm trying not to get distracted. Focus, brain. When you say we'll work with the Radio Master, the Radio Master will work with pretty much anything because it is a multi protocol radio, so you don't have to worry about it. But I would just get a Mob 6, uh, get the Free Sky version, um, and then you can just bind using your Radio Master to that. That would be my recommendation there. Uh, my friend, we got Kaylin as well. Thank you very much, uh, Unicorn Lady. It says, Hope you're having a good day. I am, my friend. Thank you very much, Kaylin McCormick. Uh, we've got Donnie sending through some love. Man, I wait. I thought that was, I thought I had two more, but. I'd stop scrolling, guys. Okay, I was like, yeah, I, I, I take that back. Maybe I, maybe you actually did beat me here. All right, Donnie. We've got Donnie Chaos. Double Chaos, actually. 
Man, I I don't know if I can keep up with these. All right, all right. Because, and I don't, let, let me read through these. Uh, I'm going to put, no. I've, you know what's taking the time is writing the actual names in the list. So I put Chaos's on here. I'm still going to do Chuckers, Donnie's, uh, Mason, Simon's, and other Chaos, Game of Drones, RS7 Driver. Like, I, I'm going to focus on answering this, answering these. I'm not going to bother putting them in the list, but I will do that after stream. They're going to go in the list. I'm just going to do it live on here because that's taking up too much time. I want to answer your questions. This is your stream, and you guys are kind of hijacking it. Uh, let's keep interrupting me. How dare you guys do that? But yeah, every single one of those people, you'll be on the short list. It is the Lava XHD. That's today's prize. Uh, that's this week's prize. Look at Postman Drones. He's still in there as well. And for everybody else, we still have a giveaway today as well. Our jackpot giveaway. Uh, this Cine, whatever that one is that hlrc cine Wood drone plus an og logoed mug uh, of friends don't let friends auto scan as well but i am going to answer these super chat questions so uh, they say um kayla mccormick says hope you're having a good day then donnie sent some love chaos says choo choo stew uh did someone say the the donation train um and chuck is saying sorry for interrupting your train of thought donnie sent it through some more love and May mason says uh, didn't see the donate link at first. Uh, my, my bad. Please don't die from this comment. Yeah, I don't want to die as well. My wife would probably be pretty mad at me, actually. I've still got to go mow the lawn, so I can't, I can't die. Uh, we've got Simon is saying, boop, boop. Uh, what were you doing again? Yep, that's right. Uh, oh, look at the Radio Master TX12. Yeah, see, thank you. I was getting distracted. Radio Master TX12. What is... Oh, this is like 90 bucks or something? This did it from memory. Um, let's see. TX16. Oh, don't, don't let my headset die. Yeah, this actually does look like a pretty cheap radio. Mm-hmm. We actually... We had this in the news. If I go here, screen share... Uh, we did a news thing on this, actually. Yeah, a $67 radio. This might be a fantastic choice, actually. So that should be uh, a good one, too. I should actually get uh, on the ball on that one and, and do a review. Yes, this, I'm going to say, for that price, that's probably a pretty decent radio. It's crazy they can make a radio run an open TX that's got... I, I don't, It just looks like a decent radio for a fairly cheap price. Yep. Um... And then we've got Chaos, sending through more love. Game of Drones, put me in the, put me in twice. Streamlabs would not work. Give Charlie a bone. So uh, I can give Charlie some little snacks. All right, here, look at him poking his head up. There you go, Charlie. Um, and then I think we're all caught up. Oh, please. Almost caught up. Says R7 driver. Says this is my first time. I have two questions. What's this auto scan scan thing? And two, how do I enter the giveaway? R7 driver. It is crazy uh, that you, this is your first time because your name is actually up here on the wall, my friend. Man, what are the chances of having uh, two R7 drivers? Um, <laughs> The uh, giveaway, uh, how do you enter? Well, there is a link in the description down below. So that is for the giveaway for this bad boy. And we're going to be drawing that probably in about an hour's time, 45 minutes time. And uh, that is the jackpot giveaway. If you, we draw a name on stream. If you're not here, you've got to send me an email within half an hour. Like, hey, look, you guys won. Send me an email to claim it. If you don't do that, well, then we just keep drawing it. A jackpot to the next person. And then everybody else, uh, sorry, I should say the people sent it through a bit of extra support and some love. Um, we have this bad boy. This is the Lava XHD. Uh, I think we had Bad Manners FPV, Motor Ref uh, won one as well. So every week. Uh, I do like a little bonus giveaway of these um, people who sent through some donations and a little bit of extra support. I put their name on a list. We put it in a big wheel. We spin it, and uh, yeah, we find out who who wins that. Um, let's see. Uh, this is uh, Postman Drones says. Did you hear about the sausage centered? Wrapping paper, yep, that's a thing. No, I I did not. Uh, Bad Manners says, don't let them 
get you off topic. You tried to say the word beat there, but uh, look at that. That's uh, not going to be, I'm sure that's going to be used in clip that right there. Cassie said, look at us. Uh, we're the captains of the stream now. Yeah, you guys definitely did take over, but I've, I've wrestled the control back. R And Sean Williams, look, I'm, I'm all, I've got three more to read out. Sean Williams says, K appears to be spending my lunch money. So Stu, Nazgul or DC5? It depends what you want to do. I'm going to answer that because I'm going to read two Super Chats and then we're going to talk about those two five inches uh size says and a 100 likes are we really up to 100 likes whoa thanks thanks guys that's uh that's very kind of you all right we, we should note we got that at about the 40 minute mark and then uh can you help putting together a tiny whoop set kit so that's from alex and we actually just were looking at that if you go to uav futures uh no that's not right 300 here we go this video right here, complete little drone racing set. So all you'd need to do, what do we got here? What am I getting an ad for? Someone's drawing a picture on a whiteboard. Lifetime deal, great. Uh, this this is the set. Uh, all right, there, if I go to screen share, Pretty much this, uh, that's 300 bucks, but you could just swap out one of these uh, for a little little tiny whoop. So that's what you'd, what you'd use. Or you could get something like the Beta FPV kit, which is a lot cheaper, or the Emacs kit. Um, but then you don't get a full proper radio and the goggles aren't quite as nice, but I can link that. Uh, there you go. So that that's for you, Alex. Jumping back here to face cam. And, all right, Sean is asking the Nazgul or the DC-5. It depends. The DC-5 is a great cruiser quad that I felt like had a little bit better efficiency. There's no props in view, but it is also probably not as robust. Uh, or if you if you want to do some more hardcore freestyle, if you're flying through trees and you, you're going to be in the remote possibility that you might be crashing, I think you'll be better suited with the Nazgul. It's got some TPU little bumpers on there as well. It's just a, the Nazgul, uh, the HD Nazgul is a great quad, man. And I've, um, I gotta say, I, I really, really liked it. So, uh, and please don't, I don't let my headset die here. I don't know if those beeps are coming through um, for you guys. Uh, oh, and also RS7 driver. I think he asked who asked about auto scan. Uh, it was RS7 driver. Don't even get see. Look, I'm still triggered. It's still in the back of my mind somewhere, getting a bit upset about it. Auto scan. It's when um, you press a button on your goggles, like you, you press you press a little button here, and uh, hey, look, it's going to scan through and find the right channel. Don't ever do it. Don't ever trust it. It is like saying to Google Maps uh, or a GPS. Look, I'm gonna, it, you know when it says turn, uh, turn now, you are at your destination and you're like, mate, there's uh, a brick wall there and oncoming traffic on the other side. We're not here, Google Maps. That is the same thing when you um, press auto scan. Don't trust what it says, basically. Trust yourself. We got double A. Now that I'm all caught up, I can actually read some of these chats in here. Double A saying, hello there, Stu and chat. Uh, yeah, making them blessed out there, Stu. Uh, thank you. I, I don't know what that means, but um, thank you, Double A. Brett Ryan says, I'm in Oz, but if I buy the TX-16 from China, there's a 22% discount, $196. Uh, I hope it ships fast, and 130 more more for the TBS recommended uh, by UA. Um Mate, if you want to get, if you get that radio and you're going to be putting TBS in there, you must be talking Aussie dollars, um, I think. But yeah, definitely, you're going to have a great radio. Or you could just, why don't, why don't you maybe go like the Tango 2? That's also another option as well there, Brett. Um, Jay says he dreams every week that he's going to win the prize. And good morning to Kobe. Uh... And Todd Lloyd says, have you ever flown any Hubson products? You know what? My very first drone, I wonder if it's still up there somewhere. My very first quadcopter actually was a tiny little Hubson. And I used to take Charlie out to the uh, out to the soccer field. He'd run around. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah he'd basically chase it and try and bite it and, and have some fun. But yeah, my very, very first drone was a Hubson. And I think I might have reviewed, mate. What happens if I type Hubson? UAV futures. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh man, look at this! Look at this video. Classic. Oh, this could be embarrassing, guys. Check this out. 
Wow. This is on 24th. This is five years ago, basically. I made this video five years ago. This is very early days. Oh, look at that camera angle. Oh, beautiful. G'day, Stu here from Revit Futures, and today we're going to upgrade our Hubson. So I've got a couple of Hubson sitting around. And oh give my us a new god! Lift. So we're going to upgrade them with one of these, and this is the Air Seven series frame. Take a breath, Air mate. Fire water, and it's going to make it a lot lighter. So here you go. You're going to put it in here. You're going to fly around with this piece of plastic. We've got some old paintings in this uh, place. We've got a mug. I still use this mug. Uh, this is the Cup of Kitty mug. Um, or Super Cat or something like that. And we've got an old... Whatever happened to these frames? Man, this is like going back in time. That is a EpiQuad right there. That's the box of an EpiQuad. Man, my mind is full of all these useless information facts about drones. Like if someone said, hey, what's this box about? And how many people in the world could be like, ah, that's an EpiQuad of the Epi 210, a four-inch little racer. Uh, that's the packaging it used to come. Whatever happened to that dude in that company? Do they even still exist? Man, anyway. So, uh, have improved we... performance and also longer flight times. All right, I'll show you how it's done. Uh, uh, there we go. Probably even, let's see. And then we, you pretty much just put it in there and there's your, there's your little drone. All in all, uh, man, we've come, uh, we've come a long way. Um, right there, Terminal Insanity saying nothing has changed. Kiss is saying, look at that young boy. Uh, yeah, back when I used to be a bit before the dad bod. Um, 100 pounds. <laughs> is that your little brother? Look how skinny you were. You need to eat some McDonald's. Uh, look at those ZMR 250s. Fitz Flights, the man of uh, culture. Uh, right there, looking at enjoying the classics. Let's see. I'm going to Epi Quad. Epi Quad. That one didn't scare me so much. I feel like I got who do, who do I beat there. There you go, Sean. He's laughing. He's saying, ha, oh, that baby-faced stew. EpiQuad 210X. Oh, it does. Is it still... Is it still existing? Does the, does the website even work anymore? It does. There it is. Quadcopters Enzo. Wow, I wonder if you bought this, if that'd actually still be... Oh, notify me. Okay, here's the here's the drone. And look at the prices, guys. This is where we got this from, and this is this is a long time ago. They had two versions. They were pretty cool, actually, if I don't say so myself. The really thick base plate's a little bit heavy. You had some little vibration dampening parts right here. But all in all, it was a, a pretty decent drone. It's got a bit of a special place in my heart. Uh, do we have... What do the reviews say? Um... 2016 all right yeah just a and 74 pounds uh what's that in that's like a hundred bucks 100 or 90 uh can someone tell me what 74 pounds is like 94 us dollars or something that's going to be my uh be my guess all right uh flavus is saying when do you draw the winner at the end of the stream my friend uh jay is saying you're a legend you came a long way uh petition uh to shave stew's goatee Man, I don't, I don't know. I haven't done that. Uh, I didn't even do that on my wedding day. My wife would probably be like, wait, you had a, no, I don't think my, my wife would be, I look, I look like a 10 year old if I don't have this. Yeah, I've been growing this since I was uh, eight years old, mate. This is how long it's taken to get this long, uh, Fitz. Um, props are saying he'll sign to that sign. No, guys, this is a bad idea. We're not talking about me shaving off uh, my facial hair. Uh, and Michael Smiles Aviation says, oh, Stu, uh, you said thick. Yep, there we go, uh, boys and girls. Uh, <laughs> Carbon Cage just said, uh, buy one and build it. Yeah, I've already, I've got one of these drones somewhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I do anyway. I'd have to, I'd have to have a look in the storage. Um, hair it just grows on you. <laughs> and just the stash. No, I don't think so, man. That would look terrible. What, for a week of... Me just having a, a moustache. This is terrible. Why am I even talking about this? I'm not giving you guys any ideas. Terminal Insanity says, How big of a donation would it take to shave off that? What? To shave off my facial hair? I don't... I, this is this is a terrible... Like, I'm changing conversations here. <laughs> so I saying shave it. 
<laughs> oh, full body wax. That's never going to happen there, uh, photo finish. All right, Chaos FPV, send in some love. Send $100 in collections for students clean shave. Here's a start. No, boys, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I wish I didn't read that one out. Moving on, Jay's asking us something about it. Good, a quad question. Quad question. Settle down, heart rate. He says, uh, the Cadex Retail 1.66 or 2.1. It kind of depends what you want to be doing. Um... And and to be honest, Jay, I feel if you go 1.66, it's going to feel more fish-eyed. You're going to be able to see a lot more. Uh, but I would probably just stay on, on 2.1. Uh, it, it doesn't... It, it really depends what you want to be doing as well and how you enjoy your flying. Luckily, you can probably buy a spare lens for about $6 or something that uh, you could swap those in and out. Kiz Bartlett saying, I think it was $1,000 for Stu to eat a dog treat. Mate, I think everyone on here would eat a thousand dollars, eat a eat a dog treat for a thousand dollars. Although I'd be a bit embarrassed having that live online. Um, for you guys, Joseph S. saying fan of the stream, got into the hobby uh, from some of your tutorials. It is absolutely my pleasure, my friend. As much as these people are trying to make me eat dog food, that is um, the main point of these videos and of these streams. That's what we do. We want people to get out there to get flying. And all those jokes aside, this is such a powerful hobby that just is so beneficial to, I can see all these chats coming up. I'm not going to look at them because this is important. It's uh, it it just welcome because it really is going to, I think, and I truly believe that it's going to change your life, whether it be in a small way, whether it be in an absolutely monumental way, whether it has honestly saved some people's lives when they've been in some really dark times and dark places. And I've seen, I've had a lot of personal videos sent to me of them and people when they're like, man, if it wasn't for this hobby, they don't know if they'd still be here. And it's, uh, Extremely humbling to know that, uh, you know, my videos can help people um, in in a, in a in some way, large or small. And yeah, welcome to the hobby. You are going to love it. You are going to change how you look at the world as well. It's going to make some things suck, like your wallet. It's not going to be very happy that you found FPV. And also the weather. I can almost guarantee you uh, that when you look outside to go and fly, you're like, oh, great, it's a flight. Wait, it's raining? Are you kidding me? Or... You might be stuck inside the office and you've got a heap of work to do today in front of the computer and then you look out the window and it is glorious. It is still, it is sunny and it is uh, just absolutely magical. All right, I did my headphones, oh no, my headphones are still working. They're going to be going flat soon though. Um, we're getting a few, uh, Joseph S says, oh, we've just read Joseph S ones. Chaos is saying, I D it. Zeph is saying, it's over. Gunner's saying, do it uh, for November. Um, Mad Fisher says he's got both lenses. All right, which one do you recommend there, uh, Mad Fisher? Oh, he says the 1.66. Okay, there you go. Uh, Photo was saying LMAO. Stu is br blushing. It's priceless. No, that's just the camera. I'm not blushing. You're blushing. Um, and Chaos says you heard him, boys. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> oh, God. Um,. Let's have a look here. Uh, James is saying, set your donation meter goal to uh, to shaving. I'd eat $1,000 for a dog treat. That's terminal insanity. Um, si is saying, shave it and get your wife's reaction. Um, okay. This is this is not what we're meant to be talking about. It. Carbon Cage says, a few beers and I'd eat a bowl full of dog treats. Come on, guys. Let's talk FPV here. Um and Postman Drone says, it, in, it's an addicting hobby, Stu. Four drones and counting, $99 build, build video. And he was hooked. Yeah, that's what it starts with. It starts with one. For me, uh, it was the... Do I have a video on the Emacs Nighthawk? This was my uh, my first one. Let's have a look here at some of... My flying was a bit ordinary uh, back in the day. Is, let's... Let's have a look here. Um, and Tom saying, Papa needs a dog treat. Here you go, uh, Charlie. This one coming in from Tom. Servo 42. There you go, buddy. Hey, hey. He's a bit disappointed because they're not the normal. We ran out of treats, so I had to just get some kibble. So I'm um, going to have to get some more dog treats definitely uh, sometime soon. Let's sort by oldest Emacs Nighthawk. Uh, this, probably this one, man, please don't have music on here. Oh, what do we got? Grammarly? Uh, no, a Dell sale. All right, great. Who wants to buy a Dell computer? 
Here we go. Check this out, boys. Some OG videos. I should, actually, you know what? I'm going to pick the music. I'm going to change the music for my own video. This is usually what we do for other people. Um, and tell me if you think that this is going to work. UOV Futures. If we go to... Here we go. Copyright free music. Uh, I'm going to go this one. Whatever this sounds like. Ugh, yuck. Alright, here we go. Is that too loud for you guys? It's pretty loud for my... My, uh... Let's have a look here. Oh, look how shaky this quad is. Uh, the, this is the... This is over five years ago. And where does the time go? Oh, doing a barrel roll. Better do a quick little edit. Oh, look at those turns. What a maniac on the sticks. Now, Todd is asking uh, ideas for drones for 13 to 16 year olds. Look, if you're 16, um, if you've got some kids or something, you want to get them some presents. Some, is this audio fine as well, or is this too loud? Le please let me know. Um, I would say... i turn this down. I can barely hear myself. Um, just something like the Nazgul. You, if you're... You, that's, begin, that's old enough to have a proper full... You don't have to have a beginner drone or anything. You just have a normal drone. The same drone would recommend to anybody else of any age limit. It's just when you, if your kids are really little, maybe something like the Tiny Hawk or something, if the kids are under 10. All right, uh, audio is good. Um, you guys can still hear what I'm talking about. Uh, Mad Fisher, uh, I thought Adele was a sung a songwriter. Um, uh, Chuck Toast says, she is, she is, she set fire to the rain, <laughs> okay. We've got inverted FPV as well. Top of the morning to you, inverted FPV. I'm just having my uh, coffee right here. Out of the cup that you said to me. Look at that, shooting through that gap. I'm answering some questions why this is in the background, actually. Um, and Zef is saying, uh, note that a large percentage of the top guys in, in FPV racing are under 15. There we go. And I normally I'd say, what do you know, Zef? But he's absolutely right. Zef is one of the fastest people on The Sims as well, doing some absolutely crazy stuff. Let's uh, this let's play this song again. Oh, look at this. Oh, maybe, no, this video's only coming in for a landing. Look at that handsome gentleman. We've got some Fat Shark, Attitude, V2s. There's no module bay in there. Dressed like a ninja. And then, uh, yeah, people would be walking past as well, being like, what is this dude doing? You know what's crazy too? I ended up moving house to a place that was like a two minute walk from here. And Whoop Heaven is uh, starting at this tree in the background you can see right here. So it's weird that I ended up moving into this neighborhood, which was a drive from where I was currently living at the time. All right, jumping over here, we've got face cam. Uh, someone said we got 120 likes. You know what? This video right here, check out the likes. And um, before we do that, look at this one. This video right here, I put so much work into it. Uh, it got 17 thumbs up. Let's see what some of the comments are saying. Uh, Malice Vex, just watched all videos to this one. I hope you, I progress this fast and I was flying. And games, dang, this is three years ago. You've come a long way. Uh, no comments are now <laughs> corrected. I'm here for you, Stu. Okay, Games Dean. <laughs> oh, well, man, that's uh, living the dream right here. Those 850 views and 18 thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, thank you very much for everybody who is in this stream. We're going to be doing a giveaway in just a, a little bit. This feels weird talking with this music on in the background. Let me know if it's distracting or whatnot. Just trying something a little bit different. We've been streaming for pretty much bang on one hour. We've got 125 people watching and we are smashing it today with the thumbs up. I dare say we might even be able to hit the 200 thumbs up mark if we pushed it. If everybody right now pressed the thumbs up button. Uh, we've never had a stream that's had 200 thumbs up there. But we might get there at 141 thumbs up. Two thumbs down. And uh, let's find out what is happening in the chat. I got a little bit sidetracked uh, right there. MS Aviation is talking to Aiden. Um, Kiz is saying he refreshed it. And Brandon Scuss as well. This is the 1009th FPV video. Wait, have I really done that many videos? That can't be true. How do you find out how many videos someone's done? 
videos, videos. Um, is there like an about page? Hmm, can someone tell me how many videos I have on my channel? Please, I'd love to know that uh, in the chat or how to find that. Uh, Grumpy Trevor's in the chat saying a giveaway. Pick me, pick me. Uh, man, I've got to come over to your house sometime, Trevor, and fly around in the pit track. It used to be like going through a treasure trove of ancient Egyptian relics, like not quite as old as Russell Wolf, but uh, the, the stuff that Trev has in his... Um, I, I don't know what you call it, in his dungeon, his, his basement pit track right there. He's, he's just got a lot of really old... Trevor's doing uh, FPV before even I was. Um, Kiss Bartlett says, that I've been asking for ages, uh, but he insists on dinner first. <laughs> All right. Uh, Core Rider says, just a little louder uh, would be better for the music. Yeah, but I didn't want to talk over the top of it. We've got Test Pilot 2 sending through some love. He says, bro, I'm late. Um... Sure, how are you? I, uh, I don't know what sure means, uh, Test Pilot Tim, but thank you very much for being here, supporting the stream uh, week in, week out. I just want to say thank you for everything that you do. Uh, you don't, please don't feel bad about being late. It's been a bit tricky too with the uh, daylight savings times and that sort of stuff. So now this is really quiet when that, that little chime just coming through. Um, Z Blaster says you have 883 videos. There we go. Oh, my goggles, just, my goggles. I just said goggles. My headset just died. That's when you know you uh, spend too much time talking FPV is when your headset dies and you call them goggles. All right, Russ Wolf is uh, is he's written wow there. That's uh, W O W. He's uh, uh, Russ's Wolf is pretty old though. He's he's been trying to spend. He does about a, a letter every twenty minutes, so he's got to pick really short. Uh, you know what old people like with technology? He's got to pick really short sentences. Um, my mum was really excited, actually, speaking of, uh, old people, that she rang me up to tell me that she paid for, I don't know what it was, her groceries or something, with a smartwatch. She was really, really excited for that. So there we go. Uh, Grumpy Trev saying, you should see all the spiders there are in the pit now, Trev. Actually, Trevor, you know what? I think I'm busy, uh, this week. I don't, don't need to, um... Do that. Hey, you're going to come flying on the weekend too, Trevor? What are you doing on Saturday, my friend? Uh, JFBV is saying sausages. And Joseph S. saying that probably doesn't include all your videos. Not sure. No, it sounds, it sounds about right. And Brandon Ski says, oh, uh, mix is mix. Uh, M-I-X, not Roman numerals. I'm a dummy. Well, yeah, I'm... I'm confused here. Uh, <laughs> Chuck Toast says he has a Spectrum. Uh, and consider it one of the worst mistakes I've ever made in my life. Yeah, uh, that is, I've said that so many times, like, don't buy a Spectrum radio, I'm gonna guess here, right, was it just a pain in the butt to try to set up and get working and overpriced, and if you just had a bought, like, a Tango 2, plug it, oh, wait, it's working, get a Radio Master, oh, that was easy, got a Spectrum, oh, I hope you're ready to, um, just pull your hair out a little bit, and I'm not sure what the, uh, reception is gonna be like in the range. Uh, Leo, Leo Pounce says best long range quad. It is probably the Flywoo Explorer from what people tell me. If you really do want to go a long way because it's getting, uh, so let's have a look here. Microphone's in the way. Flywoo Explorer. A long range. Yeah, probably this thing. Very, very popular drone. With good reason. So yeah, people are getting like 15 minute flight times or something like that using this this little bad boy. Are they um, Korea Rea motors? On here, I'm not too sure. Man, a lot of people have reviewed this. Where are the motors here? Oh no, flywind, flywind motors. You can't even see what I'm... I will blame Trevor for this. Yeah, this is the Flywind Explorer. Uh, that's... Uh, if you were going to be going long range, that'd probably be my recommendation. All right. Um, face cam. Uh, 878 videos is all is all your posted videos. Okay, so uh, we're getting close to that thousand mark, even though I haven't done too many this year. Sorry about that, guys. I wonder if that includes live streams. I hope it doesn't. I hope I've got 878 catalogued videos that help people on specific uh, specific uh, topics. Mad Fisher says, I'm leaning towards the Gepa see Crocodile Baby uh, for my 4-inch micro. And iPanda says, what kind of things besides GPS can be added to UART? That's a really good question. There is some crazy things like you can get um, 
basically whatever whatever you want to control uh and if you've got a will or a way that's what you're going to do it through the uart but some people have like little sonar sensors as well um that you know if you're going to be hovering close to the ground they can it can be programmed in so it will hover at a certain height um like you mentioned you're saying besides gps you can put your gps on there uh you can control your leds through there um anything that kind of needs a little bit of a brain to uh or a little bit of a, a computer to process or complete the tasks for it um you can hook it up to that uart and send that information to the flight controller as well um but yeah I, I don't know what else do you want to put on there when it comes to fpv drones though most of the time we are just you know gps i don't really like using that unless it's a long range quad that is going to be doing some exploring uh but other than that it's just uh it's i don't know like uh it'd be interesting what would you guys put on there oh parachute recovery that's another one as well that people are saying and item dropper servos um all right and let's have a look here i want to say too uh thank you very much si and bad manners uh for those super chats i am going to put your name on the list for this um i'm just not doing the list live on stream because too many people uh sent through their donations and we're getting way too distracted so i will put your name on the list for uh, the little Lava X HD that we've got right here, um, but yeah, we'll be we'll be drawing that. Uh, this that's this week's prize for you guys. Let's see. Paul Rambo says, "How much range can I expect from 1,000 milliwatts?" It really depends on a few conditions, but uh, at, at least a couple of kilometers with a clear line of sight. At le at least um it and it's all if, if you shouldn't be expecting range just from milliwatts you should be really be expecting because that's only going to go uh twice as far as 250 milliwatts right it is all about the antennas and, uh, and some people might 250 to uh to 1000 yeah i think that i think i believe that's only twice as far like you've it's uh the inverse or something like that when you look at the ratio of numbers um you need four times the power to go double the distance i think that is the uh like a, a generalization i could be wrong someone if you know any more um please let me know but yeah <laughs> you're probably at least a couple of kilometers but please get some good antennas that's what it's all about a really strong focused beam um joseph s says i love my dx6 and it's never failed, but the channel count is so limiting, especially for the price. Um, and the Juice uh, Juice the Kid 99 says, I'm trying to get into flying, but I don't have a drone. It would be great if I could get something. Yep, uh, that's what I guess having a job is for. Saving up, getting some money, um, and flying around with a drone. Um, and let's see, probably not the answer that you, you want to... I get a lot of emails like that, actually, telling me people telling me how much they... Uh, it's their dream to 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 get uh, get this exact drone that I've just reviewed. Um, let's see. MS Aviation saying Spectrum is the best for planes. I kind of disagree. Like what what I don't think it does anything extra that the that other radios don't don't do too much. Um, oh look, bad man is saying no, it isn't. <laughs> And Carter Newman says, what beginner transmitter do you recommend? I recommend the Radio Master TX16S. So we've spoken about it a few times on this stream already, so I'm not going to pop it up um, again. But just a great cheap radio. If you go to uoverfutures.com, uh, there is a whole write-up on the uh, on the Radio Master there. Uh, Grumpy Trev says, 1,000 milliwatts expect to be a big fine. Well, I guess it depends. Uh, it depends what country, excuse me, depends what country people are on uh they're trev and where they're watching from and joseph s says I, it's super intuitive for planes dual rates and expo are super easy to set up and bad Manor says i have all three um and oh, maybe he's talking about the diatone gep rc and the explorer all right um let's see uh terminal insanity says 1000 milliwatts equals one watt crossfire does two watts Yep, I, I think we were... Oh, I was talking about VTXs. I think we were talking about... I was talking about the VTXs right there. You're going to go a lot further. The range on a Crossfire is absolutely insane. Like, the theoretical limits are more than we would ever want for 90, any any hobby flight. Let's put it that way, anyway. Um, let's see. Juice the Kid says, I'm too young to get a job. Well, my friend, uh, it's going to be some birthday presents and Christmas presents. And it's just going to take some saving up. 
Uh, that's probably the best. That I can't give you any more advice um, than that. Uh, or if you really want to fly drones, you could always, yeah, buy a $20 simulator uh, from Steam and you should just fly around on the sims. And let's have a look. Who is here? Grumpy Trev saying, Charlie looks hungry. Uh, we've got Celis. He's saying, hi, Stu. Hi, UAV family. Well, what's going on, Celis? Is there any new videos? And speaking of Celis, who makes some amazing stuff, I want to see some of your videos, actually. That's what I was planning to do a, a little while ago. If I go to share your vids here, let's see. Share your vids here. Um, this one, oh, it's a DVR. DVR footage, the blaze. She's got some as well. Let me scroll down just a, a little bit. All right, Cadex Orca. I like it. All right, so this one's from uh, Roland. Let's have a look here. I've already watched this. It says that I've already. Oh, it must have been time stamped. Okay, that's why. Right, let's let's have a look here and remember like always we get to choose the music uh 2020 music let's see who was that kind individual let's see screen share Right, so we got my face, then we got some DVR. I don't think this music really suits, but we're gonna we're gonna leave it. It was what was chosen. Uh, Motor Ref is saying, "Hey Stu, OMG, I almost missed half your stream today. Hi to Charlie. Also, congratulations, Motor Ref, you won last week's prize. So uh, we'll be organising that soon. How was it like? Was it exciting?" Uh, Postman Drone says, the answer is no, the $99 build is out of date. Yeah, I agree, it's outdated, it's a couple of years old now. You'd be better off having a look at the Granger Race build, which is a little bit more expensive. Uh, there's also a $150 build on uavfutures.com. Um, yeah, and that's with Jacob J. Would you still recommend your 99 build for your first squad? No, I, I wouldn't. Uh, Josh is saying collect cans, bottles, wash cars. That's what I did as a kid to earn money. Yeah, that's a, that's a good little tip. And Motor Ref is saying winning last week was absolutely amazing. Uh, thanks. Uh, my pleasure, my friend. <laughs> I think it's cool to be able to uh, make some people stay, give some prizes away, and, and just crazy to think hey i was watching this stream and then bob's your uncle uh hey i want a drone mom dad i want a drone radio we're gonna press is that the end of the uh the little track i think it is let's have a look at some other people's videos as well all right back to this one i'm gonna can this music and let's have a look one more video if you've got some videos you'd like to share to post them in the discord under share your vids random family man's posted one random family man you got to get some gopro footage mate uh let's make an invite right here copy and paste oh charlie's snoring i think i said his name so we because I changed what I was doing talking. He's doing some big snores right there. He is absolutely zonked. <laughs> Lazy dog. I don't want to wake him up. Um, toxic FPV saying GoPros are Marco money. I don't know what that means. And um, let's see. Crank the gain on the mic. No, I don't. Why is it? What, what are you telling me to do that for, Fitz? You know, I trust you guys. I tr trust you. For, you flies um all right let's see uh oh sell us wait sell us if i play your video does it have copyright music in here that's what i need to know because you have some some really great stuff um maybe while we're waiting i'm gonna click on this one oh it's just a it's nothing. Oh, well, what's the point of that video? All right. Um, 
Let's have a look here. Joseph is on crash, crash footage. Right, sorry, I got a bit distracted reading some comments and that sort of stuff. All right. Um, Bad Manor says, lol, yeah, I, I think Bardwell actually touched on the issue with the Explorer. All right, what issue are we talking about when it comes to that? Um, let's see. It's on my three inch. I'll get a GoPro soon. Oh, that's from Random Family Man. And um, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I wanted to hear the snoring. Oh, but okay, the mic was a tiny bit low. Gotcha. Joseph S says, Thoughts on buying in the new Runcam 5 versus a used GoPro session. Mate, if you can buy a GoPro session, do it every single day of the week. The GoPro session, one of the best action cameras ever made for FPV. It's extremely light. It's extremely robust. And I know a lot of people are going to say, what about the naked GoPro? That's uh, that's great. You know, they're so light. They only weigh a couple of grams. Yeah, but you've got to think of it this way. And one of my friends, Jimmy, shout out to him. He said, look, you basically, uh, how many times do you crash your drone? If you can go out, do some long range flying, and you know you can come in and land safely, that's when the naked GoPro is good for you. However, uh, if you just, even one little roll or one little clip of a gate or a tree, you're naked gopro it's going to be wrecked chances are you're probably going to be breaking it the session is absolutely where it's at uh that 1080p 60 frames per second look it's probably i think it's more than enough to share some nice juicy footage online as well especially if you want to make some videos it's the session every single day of the week in australia they are so expensive people are selling them secondhand more than what they used to be when they came out new so that's what i would recommend um Ridey Fly Saint Stew, how are you, buddy? I am uh, better now that you're here, my friend. I was a little bit tired this morning, um, mainly because I stayed up till 2 a.m. last night because I thought it was Wednesday night, and no, it turns out it was Thursday night. And I had uh, today's stream, I woke up in a mad flurry. Um, let's see, Terminal Insanity says, How about a weekly segment where people submit FP videos for you to show, review, discuss? Yeah, that could be a, that could be a, um, that could be something. Let me know if you guys would be interested in doing that. Bad Manners says, yeah, I like the baby croc so far, but it's hard to get the session mount on it. And uh, no vid strikes on that one as for video footage. So sell us, but that's not telling me, is it copyrighted music or not? That's what I need to know. Where did that music come from? Um, or can I play it without sound? But that might be a bit of a, a disservice to your great creativity we've got right there. Simon Willeman says, Session 4 or Session 5, is there much difference? Uh, can the Session 5 do like two point... Maybe I've got a Session 5. Yeah, I think I have a, f a 5. Um, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I, I would say for drones, they're both going to do 1080p. I think the Session 4, you just have to Google the stats, man. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and Postman Drone says, Stu, if you get a chance, check out a Reckless FPV's video. He's the one, that guy that got the Nazgul all programmed and got it up in the air for me. Is it posted in the, um, in the share your vids? If, if you want to post it there, then we can, we can check it out. Let's have a look here, because I can't see it. All right, now just, just tag me. Oh, we do have one actually from Zeph who sent this, now this is, uh, called AAA. Adelaide Apex Adventures, and I don't know if Zeph actually knows Rand. Have you guys flown with Random Family Man? Have you guys met up and gone for a rip? Let's watch this video. I'm expecting some good things because this gentleman is quite fast on the sticks. Uh, and we'll pick you some music. You can have, what's, what's this one? All right, all right, here we go. Let's see how we go. Ah, uh, we'll see. Okay, oh, it's not too bad. I like the little footage of someone filming that in there. Some little quad dancing. <laughs> it's break dancing there. Man, what is this building? This this place looks awesome. That is like the dream spot. A couple of fun trees to fly around. No one around. Man, I want to go fly in here. This is where it's at. Maybe not the snakes. I don't like that idea. Trevor's not going to come because he's petrified of it. Almost getting dizzy, a lot of freestyle action. Is that a transition or was that the same same sort of flight just there? Random saying he knows Zeph and Chuck Toast says I know random. 
Uh, random is my friend. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, don't let him know that. Um, and they're saying they're going to be flying together as soon as they get on out of lockdown. Um, oh, Postman Drone's talking about just, uh, I should check out one of his videos. Man, if you want to find one and post it in the share, my share your bits part, we can watch it. Johnny DRC is impressed with this video. And Seller saying such a good spot and nice flying. I agree. This is this is like the perfect amount of tree spacing. I probably wouldn't park my car there though, because it looks like right through the uh, right where I'd want to put some lines and, and cruise around. That was nice. Look at that perfect gap, just, I'm jealous, very jealous. That was a nice little flick as well. Look at the weather, it looks like there's no wind there. Sunny days, sunny days, four days. Um, Chuck Toast says, I'm proud to have Random as my friend. <laughs> oh, just don't give him your phone number because he's going to ring you all the time and saying, fix the pinball machine, Stuart. Fix the pinball machine. All right, jumping back in here. Some cool stuff. This video, let's press pause on this. Man, but the tricks keep going. Although I don't recommend beginners fly through houses though because you're probably going to be breaking quite a lot of stuff. Some of this flying reminds me a little bit of Granger's freestyle, actually. Very fast, very aggressive. All right, let's jump back in here. I think we might be going to do a giveaway in just a little bit. Let me check the time. I've kind of gotten a little bit sidetracked right here. Press pause on this. We have been streaming for 82 minutes. We've got 132 people. We've got 163 thumbs up. Um... All right, let's, uh, do you guys want a bit of a giveaway? Let's maybe do that. Find out who's going to read. Say, Random is saying, Stuart, did you read my last message, sir? When, did you send me a message? Let's have a look here. Random family man. Yes, I did, actually. I did. And I've already done what you told me to do there. Rand Don't give Random Family Man your phone number. That might be a, um, a good little advice for anybody who's watching this in the background. We just had a donation from Motor Rev. He said, I read, I read online other pilots having burnt out stock motors on flying the Flywood Chaser 138. So I'm thinking of picking up a new set of T-Motor, you know, this... Uh, 1507, 2700 KV for 6S as a replacement. Is this a good move? Mate, if it's, um, if I think uh, you might need to check if that is the tune that works on here. So if the tune was bad, that may, might be why those motors uh, burn out. But um, yeah, I think you're going to need to replace that anyway and replacing it with some of those, it's going to be fine. So yeah, absolutely. What, what were these ones? I know I haven't gotten to the post office yet. These were 1507's 2900 KV. Um, yep, yeah, that'll be absolutely fine. But probably, uh, yeah, I, I think that'll be that'll be more than more than fine. All right. Um, and bad manners. Just before we do the giveaway, send in some love as well. It says my chaser felt sluggish. I changed the props and motors. Yeah, it had a lot more performance and it still acts like a cine whip. How do I pay uh, for shipping, Stu? Uh, we would figure out something through PayPal. So that can be for Motor Ref and bad manners. We'll just get you to send through a little like a, a PayPal thing. Let me get to the post office first uh, and send him away. Uh, Russ Wolf is saying, no, he doesn't want us to do a giveaway. <laughs> oh, Bad Menace is saying, yes, yes, yes. And Random Family Man says, oh, that's the last time I help you out. Uh, there we go, my friend. Mate, Random Family Man, you're welcome over here anytime. Uh, Mr. Apex is saying, hey, Stu, it's my birthday tomorrow. And happy happy birthday, Nick. There you go. Um and that's that's oh, so it's apparently someone called Nick's Nick's as well. Uh, and Phaser, we've got Phaser FPV saying, "Hey Stu, did you see the new Beta Flight feature for people giving uh, tech advice? Game changer? Uh, nope, I did not. Is that the real Phaser FPV? That's pretty cool. He's been in the game for a long time. But." Let's do it. Uh, that could be something that I could Google there, uh, Reese. Let's do it. Let's do a, a bit of a giveaway. Find out who is going to be winning uh, this prize of this bad boy. The giveaway form is in the description. Plus, you get one of the OG 
uh, mugs with the OG uh, old school UAV Futures logo and friends don't let friends auto scan. A uh, little message right there. Let me do this. Drive. Live stream entries. And we got JFPV as well. And uh, Jay is saying, at Phaser, uh, stock some BQE frames. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, Phaser, if you are there, you could um, have a look at getting some BQE frames there because I know there's been a bit of demand in there. Nowhere, nowhere in Australia sends, uh, sells them, actually. So, a lot of people have to pay a lot of money to import them. Um, yeah, I think they tried to contact you before, but maybe you guys didn't know who they were. But definitely check out uh bqe bot grinders uh with them as well just make some really really cool stuff it'd be cool if someone in australia stocked them. maybe maybe send them an email back and say hey uh we got it wrong um definitely they're going to check it out all right uh, let's have a look scrolling down here doing a bit of a giveaway we have the last entry is uh david uh at three two five four you're the uh, last one that's going to be the cutoff. Three, two, five, four. Random number picker. All right. Let's 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 do a little random number generation game. Um, and Jay's saying 170 likes. Let's go. Yeah, that's got to be some record. Uh, Face is saying, no worries, BQE. They're going to arrange it. Fantastic. Grumpy Trev reckons he's going to win. Have your guesses. What is the pro what is the uh, winning number going to be? And then when you go through and let's, we got it. We need that keep them generated song. What's going on, Fitz? You got to keep them generated. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's do it. Who's going to win? Whoa. One, seven, nine, eight. Let's find that out. One, seven, nine, eight. One, seven, nine, eight. Let's have a look. Who is that going to be? Oh, one, seven, nine, eight. One, seven, nine, eight. All right. Uh, snipping tool. Alrighty, do this. Um, where is this random number generator? One seven nine eight. One seven nine eight. All right, congratulations to this person. Uh, if I change to screen share, uh, Justin Sula, Sur Surla, whatever. Email me from this, please. Uh, there's a bit of a rest of the email here. And then you've got half an hour to email me. It's 11.35 now. So at 5 past 12, by 5 past 12, you will have sent me an email. And if you do that, you will win uh, this right here. So let me change, get this in shot. Uh, this is a HDLRC little cine whoopy drone thingy. I can't even remember the specific name of it. Plus, um, one of the very few cups we have uh, here, thanks to... Um, inverted FPV as well with the OG label on there, the OG logo before we change. There's not many of them in the world. Um, so that was Justin Sewell. If you are here in the chat as well, other people saying congratulations. Um, thank you very much, Phaser. He's typed 179. Oh, everybody typed 1798. Uh, uh, Drew typed 1789. <laughs> oh, and the pinball machine just said Sonic Boom in the background. Um, Let's have a look here. Other people saying congrats. Other than that, look, I'm going to say hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Sorry I was a tad late this morning. What was the record? What did we get up to when it came to likes? We got 179 likes uh, in the 90 minutes that we've been streaming. Look, other people did hear some sonic booms as well. Uh, so very, very close to maybe the mythical 200. We'll get there one day. Other than that, look, I want to say subscribe for more FBV related content. I will be streaming tomorrow. Um, we should be having some fun there. Random Family Man saying, fix the bloody pinball machine, Stuart. And Crow FBV says, do you have a Street Fighter pinball machine, Stuart? I do in the background there. So uh, wherever you can see that. Uh, and I want to give a huge shout out to you, to Trevor, for helping me with that. So I got that uh, from Grumpy Trev, the grumpy bugger himself. Uh, very, very cool stuff. He's a bit of a, uh, a pinball nut and, and turned me on to it. So anyway, 
on that, I'm getting distracted. Uh, subscribe for more FPV related content. I hope you have a fantastic day or why? Because you deserve it. You deserve to be happy. 2020 has been a little bit tough. If you're feeling down at all, there is some links in the description as well to, I think it's Beyond Blue. So anybody who's struggling with mental health or uh, depression, anxiety, any of that sort of stuff, there's some links there. Go check that out. For me, I want you to not feel alone. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't feel like you have to do this all by yourself. Uh, it's been tough for me this year. I know we haven't spoken about it much this stream, but I want to uh, let some other people know out there that please don't feel alone. I've been struggling with it myself and uh, it, it can be, um, it's completely, nor it can be completely, it's okay to not feel okay. So I uh, don't feel like you have to be holding everything together or anything like that. Don't feel like there's anything wrong with you. You're doing the best you can. We are here for you. On that, uh, everybody deserves to have a fantastic day. So please go and do that. Relax. Um, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Tomorrow we're going to be watching some of your videos. If you can post them in your share your vids page, uh, which is on the Discord, definitely go and do that. And uh, other than that, subscribe for more FPV related content. And as always, happy flying. I'm not even going to wake up the DOG this time because he is sound asleep. All right. Catch us, guys. And I get to go flying tomorrow, so I'm catching up with Gunner FPV. I don't know if he'll be here at the end of tomorrow's stream or if he'll turn up a little bit after that, but that should be exciting as well. All right, catch us. Chuck Toast is saying, don't forget, Spectrum sucks. Okay. <laughs>